Many people spent part of their Christmas at the Alamo Draft House to see the movie The Interview. Alamo CEO Tim League decided to show that movie after getting the green light from Sony just two days ago. Today's shows sold out in just minutes. KXAN's Lindsay Bramson was there as moviegoers showed their support. People are certainly excited. The interview is showing here at the Alamo Draft House. Just look at the crowd of people behind me. A sold out show where people tell me they are here to show their support. It began with a special message from actor James Franco. Turn off your cell phone. I don't want to see any lit up screens, texting, checking your Instagram. Just watch the movie. Come on. What is better than this? The Alamo. And as excited fans took their seats for the first screening of the interview, Alamo CEO Tim League made a special appearance, bringing the crowd together in a very special kind of way. I'm proud to be an American, but at least I know I'm free. We just uh, don't like being told we can't see what we want to see, so it's kind of a little statement we're making. A statement that included waving American flags employees handed out before the show started. I think it's an excellent decision just because no one else wanted to pick it up. We're in Austin, we're in the United States, we have freedom of speech and the rights to watch whatever we want to. An officer with APD provided the theater with extra security. League says he wasn't taking any chances. We worked with uh, Austin PD to do a survey of the building and we had some uh, security training for our staff. And, and back in the theater, strangers came together to support both the movie and the industry. USA, USA, USA. Lindsay Brampson, KXAN News. Well, tickets were sold out for today's showings, but tickets are still available for showings of the interview. The Alamo Draft House will be showing that movie through the new year. People attending a midnight screening of the interview in Los Angeles got a big surprise before the show. The stars of the film, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, made a surprise appearance at the theater. They thanked everyone for coming out to see that film. Rogen even commented he did not think the film would get this type of reaction from North Korea. This may be the first time a movie has caused diplomatic tensions, but North Korea has been the subject of other movies in recent years. Last year, Gerard Butler and Morgan Freeman starred in Olympus Has Fallen, which showed North Korean-led guerrillas taking over the White House and a Secret Service attempt to get them out. And in 2012, Hollywood remade the movie Red Dawn, with North Koreans invading the mainland United States. Originally, filmmakers were set on using the Chinese as the villain. However, after shooting that movie, they decided that to change the aggressors to North Korea so the Chinese could still see the movie.